Hello and welcome to UT Dallas. Whether you're a new or returning member of our faculty and staff, this video will be your guide to UT Dallas's next generation classroom podiums created to better serve your educational needs, be it lectures, presentations, or events. Equipment. Depending on classroom size, the equipment will vary slightly. The majority of the equipment is connected to a crash-drawn processor and controlled by the podium-mounted touch panel. We will go in-depth with each piece of equipment later in the video. Touch panel. The majority of any next-gen classroom functionality will be found on the Crestron touch panel and locked by a four-digit passcode, which is 1970-1970. Should you have trouble remembering the code, press the red help button on the touch panel and press don't know touch panel access code. A message will appear with the passcode. After pressing enter, please allow the processor time to boot up the podium system. Panel layout. The layout of the touch panel can vary slightly between classrooms, but for the majority of our next-gen classrooms, this will be the touch panel layout. Sound. On the left with the box labeled sound, we have volume and podium mic. Volume controls the overall audio from all available sources, while podium mic controls the volume of the gooseneck microphone. Pressing up or down on the buttons will raise or lower the volume in the classroom. If you wish to cut audio entirely, press the mute button in the middle. The mute button will turn gray when active. Sources. In the middle, we have sources. Pressing on a source will automatically send visual and audio of the selected source to the projector or projectors and monitor too. PC. If you wish to use the classroom PC, select PC in Sources. Monitor 1 will always be the classroom PC, and you can log in using your net ID and password. Once logged in, drag whichever window you wish to share to Monitor 2, and it will appear on the projector. Drawing Tablets. Several classrooms have Wacom drawing tablets available and they are primarily used with softwares that allow digital handwriting, such as Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. The Wacoms are connected directly to the classroom PC and will not work with other sources. All next-gen classrooms come with an UGGY drawing tablet and stylus. This works similarly to the Wacom, but is smaller and requires the PC monitor. Dot cam. The Epson document camera is used for the purposes of physical media. First make sure the device is properly unfolded and turned on, indicated by the blue LED light. Selecting document camera in sources will display automatically on monitor 2. Features such as zoom, focus, and overhead light can only be controlled with the buttons on the Epson at this time. Touch panel controls will come at a future date. Laptop. If you have your own laptop or tablet device, select Laptop in Sources. You can connect to the projector with the available HDMI cable labeled Laptop. The cable is a full-sized HDMI, so for smaller laptops and tablets, you'll have to provide your own HDMI adapter. Although the Crestron processors are compatible with most tablet devices, laptops are preferred. Blu-ray. For physical media, such as DVDs or Blu-rays, select Blu-ray in Sources. The Blu-ray player will be located inside the classroom podium. All controls for the Blu-ray player, such as open tray, play, and pause, will be found on the touch panel. PTZ Camera. All next-gen classrooms come with a ceiling-mounted PTZ camera for the use of online hybrid classes. If you prefer to modify the original presets, select Camera and Sources and use the controls on the touch panel to adjust the pan, tilt, or zoom as you see fit. If you wish to save the adjusted camera angle, first press Save and then press on the preset you wish to override. Wireless Pod 
The majority of next-gen classrooms have access to a Solstice pod. A Solstice pod provides a wireless method for users to share their personal device's audio and video from anywhere in the room. Users must either download the Mersive Solstice app or enter the Solstice Pod's hostname into a web browser in order to connect to the Solstice Pod, then type in the randomly generated four-digit code when prompted. If you wish to use this feature, select Wireless Pod in Sources. Instructions on how to connect will appear on Monitor 2 and the projector. Teams Camera Input when using the Classroom PC, the lower half will have sources for the team's camera input. In an online hybrid class setting, the user will have the option to switch between the PTZ camera with camera control, document camera, laptop, or solstice pod. Instructions for hybrid teaching will be on the Classroom podium. Control. On the right, we have control. If you wish to raise or lower the projector screen, you can do so by pressing the up or down buttons on the touch panel. Pressing mute will disable the projector's image and gray the mute button. To unmute, press unmute. Advanced controls. Although source routing is done automatically, manual routing can be done through the advanced controls button to fit unique preferences. Options for manual routing are send to projector one Send to Projector 2 if a second projector is available, Send to Teams, and Send Audio. There may be an additional set of controls which will be labeled as Projector 1 Image and Projector 2 Image, depending on classroom layout as well as corresponding mute buttons. Help. If any equipment issues arise, press the red Help button and select Need Help in Room. A message will then appear. If the issue is resolved before the technician arrives, press the Cancel Request button. If the issue is the touch panel, or if you wish to speak to Media Services, please call 972-883-4900, or check the podium instructions for the number. Power. To power down the podium, press the red power button. A yes-no prompt will appear. Press no to return or yes to power down the podium. The touch panel will reset to the lock screen. As a note, powering down the podium will not log you out of the classroom PC, so please be sure to log out when you're finished to protect sensitive information. This concludes our overview of the next generation classroom podium. If you have further questions, training inquiries, or are experiencing issues with the equipment, please email media services at media at utdallas.edu or call 972-883-4900.